in this tutorial, I want to talk to you about compound clips as projects. And a uh, hat tip to Ron Dawson at DareDreamerMag.com. He wrote uh, about this early in 2013, and I just want to talk about it some more. So, my workflow for compound clips. So, what I'll do, I created some just some projects but now my workflow is totally with compound clips because i realize that projects take up a lot of hard drive space so i on this tutorial i don't have an external drive i rarely edit like this by the way you always want to edit with external drive if you can then what i do i have something here that i have a clip already married so i have the audio here and the video here of me talking and then if i click off of it i can either hit new compound clip and it'll tell me where i want to uh what i want to do with it and i said um i just want to say five ways on camera then once i create that compound clip i can double click it and then i can just add this right to the storyline just like a regular a regular project now one thing you must know about this is that you have to organize them and if you look I have a smart collection called comps. So what I did called compound clips and to create that, what I do, and, and Ron does this as well, I go up here and then I'm going to hit compound clip, clip type, compound, all right. And then once I do that, text include, if you have versions, he does versions, he have different versions of it or any other text. I, I don't have that for these simple clips, but then I would do that and then right here it would show all my compound clips so let me just get rid of this in the X out of that in the browser and then that's my smart collection so when I'm looking through all these videos here I can have my compound clips now I know I went pretty fast but I want to slow down for those who want me to slow down everybody else they can click off the video and I'll see you later now what I want to tell you that compound clips can replace projects now Apple may change this workflow so at the time of this recording comp I can make copies of compound clips by hitting command D then that could be my version 2 all right and then I can do that by hitting version 3 all right so I can have as many compound clips and as you see in my finder when I go to Final Cut projects you don't see any projects here but they behave like projects, they act like projects, they do everything that projects can do. You can add things to it. I'm gonna add B-roll, and actually I'm gonna use this as a video I need to edit of myself for a blog that I'm, I'm writing. So, with that being said, if I go here, let's go back to where it says chip shoots, and if I do this, and if I wanna create a new compound clip here, once I select it, watch what happens. Start, it asked me to start my time code there because I selected this. Okay, I have that selected. So some people had that question. So once I had that, if I deselect this, then I go file new compound clip or option G. You see what happens? It goes back to zero, and I always set it based on my first clip. There's another question that came up. What if your first clip is a photo? Will it do that? The answer is no. If you have this as a photo slideshow, I would encourage you to go ahead and create a project. Um, for photo slideshows, I use iMovie personally. I like it for uh, going in and out, and then I may bring it into Final Cut. It's just a little bit easier uh, for me uh, for, photo, for photo slideshows. That's just a personal preference. So again, compound clips, you can select them. Option G, if it does that, then if I want to click off of it, option G and remember click right here and you want to make sure that you create a smart collection that includes clip type and then compound clip now does this work for multicam I have not used it for multicam as of yet but I know for basic shots and what I'm doing it works just fine so best of luck you should be able to create versions do all of your workflow create a smart collection without creating a lot of projects and these projects you know slow your computer down slow your final cut pro open down and this take a lot of space on your hard drive so again you have any questions you can always email me at ask at web video chefs and follow us online and on twitter at web video chefs